Hi Scorpio, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your week ahead. Scorpio, let's see what you can expect now from the 2nd to the uh, 8th of September. 2nd of September to the 8th of September, Monday to Sunday and your overall energy, the major arcana, the major influence around you, Scorpio, is the Empress. Wow! Are you ready for a brand new idea, giving birth to something new or just sitting in your comfort and attracting in wonderful things into your life? What is it, Scorpio? Let's see. Let's take one card for each day. Uh, one card for each day from here, Monday to Sunday and then we'll uh, clarify them of course as required. And a warm welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. So Spirit, tell us, why is the Empress energy here for uh, Scorpio's upcoming week? What should they be expecting? What should they be prepared for? Monday to Sunday, 2nd to the 8th of September. King of Pentacles, all right. Financially feeling very secure. Death and rebirth, yes, almost like a brand new life being carved out for you. Looking into your future, waiting for your ships to come in. There is some celebration coming towards you this by Thursday. There will be a cause to celebrate something that you've been waiting for for a very long time, uh, Scorpio. And... Um, Friday, I have the judgment card. Of course, it's going in your favor, it seems. And Saturday, I do see you a little tired, little tired, little worn out. You've done too much work and maybe you need to put those wands, wands down. But there is excitement in the air. There is so much excitement in the air. Even though on Saturday, I see you a little exhausted. Sunday, you're getting, gearing up again to say, yes, I'm ready again. I want to take a leap of faith in a new direction. I want to now start something new. I want to birth something new. I'm ready for my next big idea. So let's see how this is going to unfold let me take um, um, clarifiers for these but before that I'm going to take an affirmation uh, what should Scorpio affirm to themselves spirit to be in this very very positive uh, healthy and uh, attracting in positivity into their life and abundance into their life what should they be affirming to themselves now here it is and this card here Scorpio says Clarity. My mind is quiet, still and clear. Angel wisdom reminds you that a busy, cluttered mind is an unhealthy one. But a still, clear mind is a divine one. Allow the wisdom in your heart to radiate out and dissolve the chatter of your mind. Know that your angel has drawn this to your attention and is waiting to help you in your task. Sit quietly so that you can find the stillness within. Then you can shine a pure, clear light onto every area of your life. In the clarity of this light, the angel will reveal a new way of being. You see things differently and will be able to make decisions from strength and clarity. So once again, your affirmation, Scorpio, is My mind is quiet, still and clear. Okay, so now let's start. All right, Spirit, tell me about Monday. What's the King of Pentacles energy that Scorpio is going to be sitting in? Of course, a card of huge, uh, you know, feeling very safe, feeling very secure, having all the financial stability and uh, worked really hard for it. Really, really worked hard for it, but you are feeling good about whatever stage of life you've reached in because of your own power and your own strength so yeah you will be giving yourself a little pat on the back it seems it's been hard it hasn't been easy you've been through a lot of hurts and pain and betrayal and all that has all those ten swords have been plunged into your back maybe in the past but you have accomplished a level where you feel secure now you feel good and you know that you are strong enough to withhold uh, or overcome any difficulties now you are changing in a very big way you are transforming your life on tuesdays like a death to rebirth where you are now focusing on a brand new wish for yourself it's like okay 
old life is over i'm already in a good place now i'm going to focus on something that makes me really happy some wish come true maybe there's some th- new project that you want to start and you know that this is going to give you even more success ace of pentacles this is a new seed that you want to sow now um, i mean the empress is somewhere somewhere known to be you know like a mother mother who gives babies you know you know what i mean so it's like you know what is that new seed that i want to now sow into the ground and i want to see it flourish uh, there could be some future planning that you're going, going to be doing on wednesday like looking into the future seeing what you want to see your life from here to now the next 10 years maybe so tell me about that three of wands three of wands yep you are in a very good place now you see you have reached a level of the king of pentacles now it's like okay so now what am i going to do next i still have age on my side or i have another 10 years of working life or whatever it's like yep i need to now plan for my future i don't want to you know rush around and have to run around or chase my goals i just want to make wise investments into my future so i can live a peaceful and happy and harmonious life going ahead so yeah wednesday could be a day of planning as to how you're going to reach that 10 of pentacles now from the king of pentacles to the 10 of pentacles that's your goal all right so then what happens on uh, thursday Three of Cups. Maybe you're catching up with some friends. Yeah, you you will be catching up with a few people, like-minded people, and um, maybe discussing how you can ease. Uh, if you have a plan, let's say, and it's a big plan that you want, you may be enrolling a few like-minded people to share your load. It's like let's do this in partnership. I can't do. I have a I have an idea in mind. I see that I have this vision it can come to fruition so let me talk to say a couple of my best friends or some my siblings or something that you know this is these are my plans and I don't want to do all the work myself because that will again be too strenuous for me I want to take it easy now going forward so what if we do do this together so there could be a little bit of fun times uh included in a bit of business talk or work talk as well from what i'm seeing right spirit for thursday yeah king of cups you are you are happy you are relaxed you are excited it's going to be maybe you're presenting this uh, ace of wands offer maybe to like i said your friends or like minded people to say this is the project i'm excited with this is this is what i want to do this is where i'm going next and i guess it's too big a project or maybe i don't want to do so much i don't need to do so much anymore i need some time to relax and you know enjoy my life so yes it could be a day where you will pick and choose a few that you want to take along on your path with you So judgment so what happens on uh, Friday was the judgment card empress again yep this is like judgment is going in your favor throughout i don't know what you're doing but you're making very wise calls very very wise calls where judgments are going in your favor you are being seen as maybe the bringer of hope even to others for bringing in prosperity joy abundance and um, a beautiful future to look forward to So Saturday I do see that you get a little exhausted maybe you you know had a busy week and you'll say you know what um I don't want to think about it today today is Saturday I I just want to put the wands down maybe I'll just sit by myself and do a little more research on my own on my own I want to make be very mindful of the people now that I am talking to or taking along I must filter them like you are going to be the boss of this project simple as that so i think on saturday you may just take a step back to kind of be very sure maybe a little bit of organization has to be done maybe a little bit of study has to be done a little bit of research has to be done but i see you doing it all by yourself on saturday uh by sunday you are prepared by sunday you've decided okay i've made up my mind this is the plan these are the people like you know i want to collaborate with or not collaborate with some of them you will be pushing away i do see that as well but it's like yeah i've made up my mind i know the ones or what i want to do next and i'm ready to take that risk now you're excited by sunday you're absolutely excited to 
you know, start the process of birthing that new idea of yours ready to jump off that cliff and say come on spirit i'm ready for this new thing give me wings to fly uh, and yes it it's this is like a start of something brand new i don't know why i keep saying that because the cards are saying that page of pentacles this is like a stable brand new beginning and you will be listening to your intuition at every step of the way even the people that you want to collaborate with, even how much work, who puts in how much work, how much investment goes in, let's say, something like that. But yes, the people you do choose, I think with your intuitions, right guidance, they are going to be the best team possible. Three of Pentacles, this is like people who will be supportive and will collaborate with you. Now, that doesn't really mean you have... I mean, you could see it in any context, right? You could be, your project could be to try a new recipe in the kitchen. So you could be telling your mom and your aunt to come and help you. Or you won't ask your three-year-old nephew to come and help you. That kind of a thing. It's like you know whose help you want, whose help you don't want. And you're excited about this, but you don't want to do all the work because you've already reached a level of success. Now it's like, yeah, I'm still alive, so let's keep building let's keep uh, you know eating or whatever so that's what i see here very relaxed energy very good energy very positive uh, planning for the future in a bringing in more happiness into your life kind of a week i'm seeing so that's what i have for you till next time then scorpio love and light take care namaste